हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट्स पार्ट वन द बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट्स इज द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन्स ऑफ द रेजिडेंट्स ऑफ अ कंट्री विद द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट्स इज द रिकॉर्ड रिकॉर्ड ऑफ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन्स transactions of the residents of a country with the rest of the world there are two main accounts in the balance of payments current account and capital account the simple rule for balance of payments accounting is that any transaction that gives rise to a payment by a country's residents is a deficit item in that country's balance of payments so simple rule any transaction that gives rise to a payment by a country's resident is a deficit item in that country's balance of payment and in the same way any transaction that will give rise to a receipt by a country resident will be a surplus item will be a surplus item in that country's balance of payment thus for the united states if we are considering united states as a domestic country as a home country as a domestic country then import of cars gifts to foreigners purchase of land in spain deposit in a bank in switzerland all these items will be considered as deficit items in united states balance of payments because all these transactions will give rise to a payment and that is a reason these are the deficit items examples of surplus items will be us sales of airplanes abroad payment by foreigners for us licenses to use american technology pensions from abroad received by us residents foreign purchases of us assets all these items will give rise to a receipt and that is a reason these are the examples of surplus items balance of payments current account capital account current account is further subdivided into trade in goods trade in services net transfers trade in goods means trade balance basically trade balance records the trade in goods services include freight royalty payments interest payments and it also includes net investment income what is net investment income it means the interest and profits on our assets abroad the interest and profits on our assets abroad less the income which foreigners earn on the assets they own in the united states and again the united states is a domestic country in our case domestic country okay so basically the interest and profits on our assets abroad less on our assets means on us assets basically on our assets abroad less the income which foreigners earn on the assets they own in the united states
Transfer payments include remittances, gifts, grants, capital account records, the purchases and sales of assets such as stock, bonds and land. The current account is in surplus if exports exceed imports plus net transfers to foreigners that is if receipts from trade in goods and services and transfers exceed payments on this account if receipts from trade in goods services and transfers exceed payments on this account then we will say that the current account is in surplus The capital account is in surplus, also called a net capital inflow. When our receipts from the sale of stocks, bonds, land, bank deposits and other assets exceed our payments for our own purchase of foreign assets. Simple. Thank you.